Hello and what's up guys? Welcome to a new video. Today we're going to look at how we do our movie theater setup for our movie reviews. So this is going to be a green screen tutorial on of course Final Cut Pro 10. Alright guys, so we have this little clip. Let's check it out real quick. Alright, so this is our green screen here. As you can see there's a little bit of little wrinkles and shadows here so it wasn't the best green screen as you can tell <laughs> a little little shadow right there and it's brighter in some areas um, but uh, so it's not perfect but if you guys can get your green screen to look pretty damn good then you guys will be set so first things first let's go ahead and oh I'm already pulled up just search in uh, or actually just click on keying guys and go to keyer and just drag it on the clip. Boom. Let that render out. Hey, what's up guys? So I'm sitting here editing the new video. Just got off work. Yo, I posted a photo on Snapchat, or not Snapchat, Instagram. And uh, I said that I would give some of the people that like that photo a uh, shout out on Instagram so that's what's going on right now while we wait for this video to render out oh check it basketball goal all right Yo, I legit just made that. Oh, shoot, dude. What a freaking shot. That was the first attempt. First attempt. Let's go. Let's go. Alrighty, finally, guys. The render process is complete. Alright, so now next step is we want to go ahead and get our background. Okay, so let's find this. I got this saved here, guys. Right there. Movie theater, extend that, make them the same length. All right, all right, guys. So we want to actually have the green screen video on top. Whoops. All right, whatever. All right, so yeah, green screen video with the green on top. So now we're gonna click on our background. And let's go to transform. Take this arrow and we'll increase the size a little bit. Right about there. Alright. And then what I like to do for it is I come over to effects, go down to blur, and I use the Gaussian blur. Just add that sucker on there. And then I change the amount to about I do about 20, about 15, 15, 4, 6, that's good, right around that area. All right. Okay, then, guys, next up is we go to our keyer, and let's go ahead and just take a look at this real quick. So, yeah, even though the green screen did technically look like crap, it's pretty good, honestly, like, through here. Um, but we can make it look even better. So we just want to fill fill some holes a little bit. Bring that up. But you guys don't want to go too high though, because check that out in the corner up in there, it's starting to spill through. So you want to do it as high as you can without having any of that crap going in there. So right about there is okay. Um, we'll go ahead and add the spill level. Fill that up. Yeah. All right, spill level. And then we'll go ahead and put it back to the view. And boom, just like that, guys. Looks a lot cleaner. Like, check that out, guys. That is clean. So clean. 
all right guys so that is it for this week's tutorial it's super easy super easy tutorial guys I mean you guys can play with these settings and just mess with that how you guys want to but just make sure your green screen is looking good keep the same amount of light on the whole screen you know use a couple of lights if you need to to you know get rid of all the shadows possible but it's super easy guys so I hope this helped you guys out you guys were trying to figure out how to how to do this on Final Cut Pro now I did a I already did a tutorial on Premiere Pro you guys can check that out if you're if you're using Premiere but uh alright guys that's it for this week I'll see you guys next time peace